Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before creating a PDF, you should set the properties that you want the PDF file to contain using the Preferences button that appears within the Create Adobe PDF button group on the Acrobat tab in the ribbon within Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. Now you will examine the preferences that you can set for PDF conversion within Excel, PowerPoint, and Word 2013 in the next lesson. When you're ready to create a PDF within PowerPoint or Word 2013 through 2010, click the Create PDF button that appears within the Create Adobe PDF button group at the left end of the Acrobat tab in the ribbon to launch the Save Adobe PDF file as dialog box. You use this dialog box to select the folder into which you want to save the resultant PDF. You can enter a name for the PDF file into the file name field shown. Then click the Save button to create a PDF with the given file name within the selected location. This allows you to print the PDF directly from this tab without needing to click the File tab in the ribbon. Now when you are ready to create a PDF within Excel 2013 or 2010, click the Create PDF button in the Create Adobe PDF button group at the left end of the Acrobat tab within the ribbon to launch the Acrobat PDF Maker dialog box. You use this dialog box to determine what content within the Excel worksheet to create within the PDF file and set the page conversion options. In the conversion range section you can select an option button to choose either the entire workbook to convert all sheets within the workbook, selection to convert only the selected cells within the workbook, or sheets to convert only selected sheets within the workbook. If you choose the Sheets option button, then you will see all of the sheets within the workbook shown in the Sheets and Excel list. The sheets that are to be included for conversion appear in the Sheets and PDF list to the right. You can click on a sheet name in either list and use the Add, Remove, Add All, the Move Up or Move Down buttons that appear in the Sheet Selection and arrange button groups to add, remove, and organize the sheets that appear within the Sheets in PDF list. In the Conversion Options section, you can select an option button to choose how the Excel content selected will fit in the PDF pages. You can choose actual size to convert the Excel content at its actual size. You can choose the Fit to Paper Width option to scale the content to fit the width of the PDF page, or choose the Fit Worksheet to a Single Page option button to fit the entire worksheet to fit a single PDF page. After making your conversion option selections, click the Convert to PDF button to apply them and launch the Save Adobe PDF file as dialog box. Just as when used within PowerPoint and Word, use this dialog box to select the folder into which you want to save the resultant PDF. You can enter a name for the PDF file into the file name field shown. Then click the Save button to create a PDF with the given file name within the selected location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.